What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Maya's World and today we're going to be starting a new series by popular demand. A lot of you guys have been asking, you know G Maya, why don't you tell us which cards are good, which cards aren't and stuff like that. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to introduce I'm going to introduce all of us into stardom or raid sellum. All right? Now, pretty much what that's going to mean is I'm going to give you my personal opinion about the card and I'm going to include why I'm you know why I'm doing it based on the gameplay. Now look, this is what I'm going to need you guys to do. Every video that I do with this, I'm going to select a certain number of likes that you can get a screenshot of. If you screenshot on YouTube that specific like and you tweet it to me at G Myers World, you can request a player for me to review. Okay? So now that we got that deal, this video right here, I'm going to require 333 likes. The person that gets that, I don't care if you're the person that likes it 333 times or if you're lurking it, and then you get the snapshot and you tweet it to me, you can tweet that to me to let me know that you are the third, you got it. The 333rd like was on the video um, and that you want to be, you, you want a person reviewed and then I'll go through it like that, all right, to make it easy because I can't, like, you know, when you guys tweet me and you ask me like spe specific things like, yo, g -Mai, what about this, what about that? It's very, very difficult to keep answering the same question over and over again. So what I try to do is try to put it into videos and then as you guys watch the content, you kind of, you know, more or less understand where I'm going with a lot of these things. So right now on Stardom Rageum, um, what we're going to do is, this, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you specific players that they may suck and um, you might want to start looking elsewhere. Now... The number one player that at first you guys were really upset with me, even today I was streaming earlier and, you know, a couple guys came in like, yo, bro, you were right about LaDainian Tomlinson, he's garbage, the dude fumbles all conservative, all that stuff like that. Yes, all of that is very, very true, that he's a bum, but he's also garbage. All right, you thought I was going to say something good about him, right? Yeah, he's a bum, but he's also garbage. But listen, the thing about it is a lot of us like myself, I paid money for him. You know what I'm saying? Like I was doing the $2 a day for the pack to get the four, the four um, LaDainian tokens. And you know what I've been doing as of late? Because I know they're going to keep upgrading him to a 99. I just go to the store and what I do is I get the pack for coins. Now, a lot of the guys that only did this, um, you know, and took their time getting him, like you do this $4,500 uh, 4, coin a day pack. A lot of you guys that did this, you still got him. You just got him a lot later. But the pack that's next to it that goes for the $2, it just made it easier. So that's why it's so hard for me to bench him. But don't get me wrong. I hate every, like every inch of his being. I really despise him, and I genuinely hate him. Like, it's like real, real hate. I really, really hate the guy. You know what I'm saying? So what I do now is I just buy that, you know, 4,500 4, coin pack. I stay away from this pack. You guys should have seen the video already when I opened this pack. It was a total nightmare. I think I got Bettis. I made like 200K off of it, but it is what it is, right? So that's what I've been doing with that. So I went through that whole process, and that's why it's hard for me to tell you guys to actually rage him. You know what I'm saying? Because the only thing you could do with him you, you can't you can't do anything else with him. He you know he's not auctionable. He's not tradable. So you have to you have to keep him there or put him into a set, which I don't think you should do. All right. So now that we're we're gonna st all the nat cards, I don't want you to you look rage. Yeah, look, you can't sell him. You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, you can't you can't keep him or rage him. You know, it's it's like neither like they're nat. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, you got to do you can't. It's neither one of them applies because they're nat. Especially if you spent money on them. Now Michael Irvin is another. He's a whole nother story. Because he's auctionable and tradable, and um, you can you know you can make like 100k for him or whatever like that. But I don't think it's worth it for you to get rid of Michael Irvin. I'm gonna tell you why. He comes with a secret cr uh, crack cam. When he look, let me let me explain this to you. Right, look. If you guys don't know right now, Madden is a game about elusiveness. So you see that 88 elusiveness that he has. It kicks in the crack cam, and then what happens is, I don't know if you guys watched him when he played, but he was one of the most dominant wide receivers ever to play in the National Football League. And one of the major attributes that, that go to him and Lawrence Taylor was their, addict, uh, you know, their addiction to drugs. Like, they really came into work, high out of their minds, and they balled out. So there's a secret crack cam that's in a lot of these cards, and it only applies to Michael Irvin and um, Lawrence Taylor. So if you have those guys, um, you know, I would start them. We're not going to rage him. We're going to start these guys. See, Michael, look, that catch in traffic, it doesn't matter, okay? Guys that are bronzes that have no catch in traffic will catch the ball, ball more than Michael Irvin, okay? Just so that we're clear with it, all right? But 
he blocks very, very well, and it's like crazy subtle because he stays on his block like it's a, like yo, bro, like he's looking for drugs. Like it's really he's all up in the dudes. Like you guys know what I'm talking about. He doesn't get off the block. Demarius Thomas, he also holds his block very, very long. So if you run I pro or you run strong or you run certain formations where you need a block, you know, as far as a wide receiver goes, the these two cards, in my opinion, for the run game is stardom. Now, if you're looking for them to catch the ball and you just can't do it anymore, rage him. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't recommend raging Michael Irvin, though, unless you bought him. See, I did the solos, and I grinded for him, so I had to work for him. It, it's sort of like the reason that I, I finally got rid of OBJ after a long time. He was a bum, but I, I played 305 solos for him. So I'm like, yo, it's no way I'm getting rid of this guy so early. So I was torn between stardom or rage him. You know what I'm saying? And um, I ended up raging him. And he's been gone for like, you know, a month. I haven't, I, yeah, I could sleep, I sleep like a baby at night. I sleep, I'm so, well, when I play Madden, I'm in a rage, but I sleep like a baby just knowing that I rage sold um, OBJ. And I didn't get that much from him. I think I probably got like 400K for him. I, I just wanted him gone. He just sucked. All right. So when it comes to the run game, I would say start these two guys. And remember, Demarius Thomas is tier four. That's a tier four card. He's garbage. And I don't think he's going to get another tier because the Broncos suck. So, you know, his blocking and everything right now, that's fine for that. You know what I'm saying? Deshaun Jackson, rage him. If you got The only reason I can't rage him is because he was put into the set for Randy Moss, who was also a bum. The uh, most feared Randy Moss that can't burn anybody. You guys got to bear with me because I have a video coming out very soon that I'm going to be sending to EA Sports and I'm going to give you guys, uh, I'm going to let you guys see the entire video. And it's going to be about a lot of things that I want you guys to watch to let you guys know exactly what I'm doing to try to help uh, for future Madden games. I'm just doing my part and trying to make them understand and be aware of a lot of the things that my viewers, which is all I care about, what we go through. All the other guys on the outside, we don't care about them. You know what I'm saying? It's all about Jamar's world in there. We don't care about anybody, whatever they're doing on their channel, whatever, we don't care about all that. I'm doing it for my viewers to try to get them a better Madden game. So I'm going to get you guys some information on that very, very soon. All right? Now, I'm not going to do the entire team in this one video because I'm opening up the series. Start them, rage them. All right? Um... This guy right here, okay, well, we're going to just go over the offense today. Okay, so look, Travis Frederick, let me tell you something about this card. Stardom. This dude is a good, look, when I tell, I streamed earlier today and I got a lot of L's in my file, but you can go and check it out on Twitch. You just look in the description box, you'll see it take you right to my, uh, my Twitch channel. Go to my past broadcasts. And even, even in the loss that I took, look at how Travis Frederick blocks. This guy is the, I don't even... Bro, what are his stats? What is his impact? Oh, he has a 91 impact block. Oh. Oh, he's at the meta. That's why. So I guess the meta really is 91 impact block. Oh. That makes sense. Because Alex Mack... Listen, wait a minute. I, 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 just, I just looked over there. Hold on, hold on. He almost, he almost snuck out. This, this guy right here, if you have him anywhere near your team, or around, like if you just see him anywhere, like if you're in the auction house, even if you don't got him, still rage him. This guy, Alex Mack, sucks. He's one of the worst centers in the game. This guy, he lets people right in to attack you, bro, regardless of what you're doing. He is the worst center in the game. Rage him now. If he's on your team, bro, and I catch you guys or I come into your stream and I see him on your team and you guys are subbed to me on Twitch or whatever, and I'm like, yo, what's good? And I see Alex Mack on your team, bro, I'm going to let you have it. This dude right here is garbage. And that, it's straight rage him. Don't even look. Close your eyes when you're putting him up for sale. I can't do nothing to him because he's a gnat, but he's absolutely 100% going into an elite token set. Okay, now that I got that out, and we just figured out why this guy is probably doing whatever, let's take a look at the other impact block that we got going on. Okay, Smith, what, he only got a 90. How do we get his impact block up? Because Tyron Smith blocks very, very well. Like, he's really, really good, and he's cheap. I, I would start him. I would start this guy. I really, really like this guy. Now, this guy, Kyle Long, let me tell you why this guy's a stardom. Not only does he have the 91 impact block and the 93 pass block with the chem, his speed and the way he gets out on tosses. So if you're one of those guys, right, that run more pitch or stuff, something like that, like I said, I don't care if you, what you guys run and stuff like that. Um, it's our jobs to stop it. If you run cover for a drop, which was sent by the devil to kill humans, that's fine too. Um, I have no issue with that, but I am going to rage uncontrollably. But that doesn't mean that, you know, we can't talk afterwards, especially if you're one of my subs or whatever. I'm just letting you know I hate everyone that runs it. It, it's not like, um, you know, anything like personal. I just hate your guts. You know what I'm saying? That, that's all. If you run cover for a drop. Because the devil wrote that up 
as he was actively killing someone in hell and sent it to EA Sports and EA Sports put it in the game. Worst defense ever that I've ever seen in any game. All right? So Kyle Long is a definite stardom. All right? I would... Bro, if you don't got him, I'm telling you right now. And don't worry about his strength being so low. He's a goon. Okay? Zach Martin, I'm kind of torn with this guy. I'm going to tell you why I'm torn. I'm torn because he sucks. And I don't know if it's because he's at the 90 and you need a 91. It's not like that zone with the meta thing that you need 91 impact blocking. Zach Martin is not doing it for me. So it's kind of, I'm kind of torn with the stardom or, stardom or rage him. I did buy this guy and he is something that I can sell. He might be raged. So don't quote me on this, bro, about uh, starting him. He, he's an iffy. He's an iffy stardom rage him. He's an iffy one. You know what I'm saying? Like He's our first iffy stardom rage him. Th th this guy sucks. All right, look, did that say it already? Like, this guy right here, bro, this guy right here? Okay, look, I don't know if you guys want to do it. It's up to you, totally. But I wouldn't, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to do it. Start him, rage him, start him, rage him. Let me see, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. catch a little douche by the toe. Like, I, bro, keep him, keep, start him, start him. We're going to keep him. We'll keep him, all right? Just just for now. Um, I Now, getting to this card, this Lane Johnson card, I really, really like this card. I know he's at 90 impact block and he's not at the meta with the 91. Let me tell you something. I never used to be able to run the ball to the right. I can run the ball to the right now. Now, listen, if you have somebody else, like, look, this is, this is the whole thing about O-line. You're looking for impact blocking 91 and above. Don't look at anything else. Impact blocking is all that matters. Trust me, if you guys don't want to listen and then you come back later, like some other guys, like, yo, bro, I should have listened. I'm telling you right now. 91 and up with impact blocking. I don't know if when they patch the game, are they going to change it? I'm telling you right now. Impact, this guy right here with the ninth, he is an outright goon, bro. Outright goon. I would start this guy and not look back, all right? I would not rage him. If he, if he screws me over, you know, like, I gotta watch this guy, though. I gotta really watch this guy. He might get raped, bro. He might end up into a rage him. Like, listen, I'm not, I'm not saying I wouldn't rage him, bro. I'm just telling you that I wasn't able to run to the right side, running stretch plays, tosses, whatever. I picked him up. I'm able to get, I'm able to get four to five yards a pop. I'm just keeping it 100 with you. All right? So I would start this guy. All right. Now, this guy, my tight end, Jordan Reed, he's only there because he chems out my Sean Taylor Mutt Master. I'm going to tell you right now, this guy drops wide open passes on a regular basis. So I'm going to be honest with you. I would rage him. I might rage him now. See, I don't want to rage him yet because I don't know who I'm going to put in to actually, you know what I'm saying, to be there to chem out Sean Taylor to make him a 96 because he's a red skin, obviously. So I would have to, you know, I'm going to have to put some work in to figure out what I'm going to do. I would rage this guy. Like, I really, really hate this guy. I actually had him come into the office, um, but we didn't, we didn't get rid of him yet. You guys know what I do. I bring, I bring these guys into the office. I have either their wife or significant other um, in the nude uh, sitting on my lap as I explain to them that they are no longer, their services are no longer needed. Um, he, we had that meeting. Um, I still currently have his wife and or significant other with me still currently right now as I'm doing the video, but I haven't released him yet, but I will recommend to rage him on this one. If you have him, I would rage him. Look, rage him. Don't think about it. Just, just rage him, bro. As soon as I figure out what other red skin I'm going to, you know, use this dude, rage him. All right. So that's pretty, is that everybody? Did I, oh no, 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 I'm not done yet. Um, my, my, okay. Tom Brady, he's chemmed out with a tier three. Uh, you know, he's powered up. This guy's a goon. He's a definite stardom. This guy's a definite stardom right here. Stardom, don't think about it. Aaron Ripkowski, I don't know if he's blind, stupid, or a blind squirrel mixed with just one eye socket, but he sometimes doesn't look at where he's supposed to be blocking. This guy is a definite rage him, but as you can see, he's a gnat. So I'm just, I'm just keeping him right now until I get a, a decent fullback, but he's probably going to be gone in a future uh, stardom rage him video. Just so, just so we're on the up and up and, I'm, and everybody knows what's going on. He's probably not going to be around much longer. Okay, guys? Um, just so you know that. You know, we're keeping it 100 with each other. This guy might not last in the next 24 hours. I might start up a stream and he won't be there. You know what I'm saying? So as far as stardom rage him goes, this guy is definitely a rage him. All right? Now, this is the first episode. I told you guys what you got to do. Um, I don't remember how many likes it was. What, 333? You send me that picture. You know, maybe the guy that gets it, he might, he might not even send the picture. That's how it works sometimes. The guys that win usually don't even send the picture. But if you do, you can ask me about a specific card, and I will make sure that I go through that specific card for you. You just finished watching Stardom Rage Him. I'm G Miles with G Miles World, and I'm signing out. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.